Now, by the time Abasha was actually thrown apart, maybe I was a kid then. I didn't really know a lot of things, but there is the internet, there is history books, even though they scrapped history. So that leads us to the question by what is happening in our country is Abasha by. Because we can truly say that Buhari is a protege of Abasha. And he even claimed that Abasha didn't stay in the enemy. It's, it's even in his tenure that they are even returning the Abasha route. Now, we've seen the videos, we've seen the pictures, photos coming from the, what happened to the uh, DJ, very good friend, and the, uh, the convener of um, the concerned people of Nigeria. And uh, he being assaulted in all the terms by a group of people who said they are in support of Buhari's government and Deja and Screw are there to do this. These are people that have been hired to actually do some damage. And that leads us to what we want to discuss. Uh, yeah, sorry, uh, I've been away from the channel for like five months or six months now. And I want to talk about today is Ambashabad. There's an African proverb that says that no matter how much rain beats, a leopard it cannot change its skin so no matter the rain it cannot change its skin and even the bible says that there is no soap that can take away the spots from a leopard now if we look at the government of Buhari today we see some features i'm going to discuss one of them one of the things we see from uh, the Buhari's government is trying to crush down voices that is the arrest of journalists we see show Ray, we see that uh, uh, like the Yata, Abba, and the rest of them. Over 29 journalists have been arrested or, 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 or they're about alone this year. Now, what is this stuff? The stuff is that they want to gag people. It means that it, they are saying that don't speak, right? If there is potholes in, in this place, don't say anything. If the government is not doing this thing, don't say anything. They want to gag the voices. They arrest people with the police and DSS and those kind of stuff. And there is this social media being. Who introduced it? Somebody, Elisha Abu. He is not actually the one that actually introduced, but he is part of those who are actually seconding the bill. Now, this is somebody who has a case on his head. What did he do? Very shameful. Slapped in a woman because he went to buy something from a sex toy shop. We all know the story. The social media bill, the hate speech bill. What is it to do? Is to crush people, put in dead sentence. So are we asking, are we in the, are we in the Abasha era? Yes, I think so. And I think again is we look at is the CGN calling for what? CGN is actually calling for Sharia. It says that Sharia should be taught in our universities. And not only taught in the universities, taught all over. And it should be taught in Arabic. And we need the provisions. For Sharia, already in the constitution, they are not satisfied. So, are we saying that Buhari is actually coming and wanted to take the place? I don't know. Now, we have flawed elections. The elections in Kogi, were they peaceful? Papa Bahesa, were they peaceful? You can tell for yourself. How about Buhari, who said that the democracy that we currently have is slow? What did he say? He said, unlike when he was a military leader, he could jail people for corruption and without wasting time. That is what he wants to do. He has no regard for the court. There is a car judiciary. We saw the invasion of the residence of judges. We saw the case of Unege. Unege. We saw Tanko Mohammed being installed. The judiciary has been carved. What about the disobedience to court orders? How many court orders have been disobeyed? Sore, Dasuki, Shai Sliza, Ezazaki. How about the judiciary we actually have today? Is it not you rub my back? I rub your back, judiciary. How about the, the rumors about the third thing? Are those rumors actually true? That they want to amend the stuff? That people are actually proposing six years rather than four years? How about uh, Theophilus Danjuma's comment saying that if he says what is actually going on in the government, that this country, nobody's going to sleep? These are things that are we actually back? And there are many reasons to the era of Abasha. Let me know your comments. Uh, let me know your thoughts in the comment box below. Thank you.